Hello, my name is Philip Peplo, and I took part in this study with Su Min Han. Traditional Chinese acupuncture has been used for a long time as a treatment for diabetes and has been shown to be effective at lowering blood glucose. Electroacupuncture makes use of electrical stimulation to cause slight muscle contractions and promote the release of endogenous opioid peptides. This has been shown to have a hyperglycemic effect by increasing insulin levels and or elevating insulin sensitivity. Furthermore, electroacupuncture has been reported to improve abnormal lipid metabolism and reduce fat accumulation in obese rats. This project involves studying the effect of repeated application of electroacupuncture on blood glucose in male obese fatty Zucca rats. The effect of electroacupuncture on blood glucose was first studied by Ikeda and co-workers in non-diabetic rats in 1991. Since then it has been used in diabetic rats and mice to lower blood glucose levels. Most of these studies have used abdominal acupuncture such as Zongguan and Guanyuan or leg acupuncture such as Zuzanli. Most use type 1 diabetic rats with a single application of electroacupuncture and were terminal studies. The purpose of the current work is to provide a detailed protocol for repeated application of electroacupuncture in diabetic rats and to examine whether it is able to decrease blood glucose in male obese diabetic ZDF rats which have type 2 like diabetes. We have tested the effect of electroacupuncture using two different sets of acupuncts, namely Zongguan and Guanyuan and bilateral Zizanli, and have compared the effects with animals not treated with electroacupuncture. Male obese diabetic ZDF rats are more prone to developing hyperglycemia than females, and the hyperglycemia can be made more pronounced by feeding with the Purina 5008 special diet. These rats have emerged as a standard animal model of human type 2 diabetes. Insulin sensitizing drugs such as TZDs are effective in preventing hyperglycemia or restoring normal glycemia in ZDF rats if treatment is started at a young age of less than 9 weeks. More severe hyperglycemia at 10 to 12 weeks can only be ameliorated by TZDs and treatment at 21 weeks of age is without a glucose lowering effect. We have tested several different gaiters anaesthetics to provide a sufficient level of chemical restraint for electroacupuncture to be carried out and for blood samples to be obtained for glucose measurement. Halothane 1% in a 3 to 1 mixture of nitrous oxide and oxygen was found to be the most satisfactory causing only a small increase in blood glucose over 30 minutes. The anaesthetic gas machine was used to deliver nitrous oxide at 0.9 litres per minute and oxygen at 0.3 litres per minute to the halophane vaporiser. After being fasted overnight, each male obese diabetic rat is lightly anaesthetised with 1% halophane in nitrous oxide oxygen mixture and its nose is placed in the nose cone of the anaesthetic apparatus. Blood glucose is measured at 10 and 20 minutes after inserting the nose of the rat into the nose cone. The lateral saphenous vein of the hind limb is needle pricked and blood glucose measured using a handheld glucose meter. Both sets of acupines that we used had been shown by other workers to be effective in lowering blood glucose in diabetic rats. The hair was clipped at the sides of the chosen acupines. For Zongguan and Guanyin acupines, the positions were first marked on the abdominal wall and then located accurately using the acupunct detector of the electroacupuncture unit. The positions of the Zizani acupines were located accurately using the acupunct detector. Acupuncture needles are inserted into the skin at the located acupines and connected to positive Zongguan and negative charges Guanyuan from the electroacupuncture unit. Electroacupuncture is carried out using 10 Hz 15 milliamps for 30 minutes and applied three times a week over two weeks. We used the HANS E600 electroacupuncture unit to deliver the electrical pulse. 
The anaesthetised rat is closely monitored for respiration and heart rate during the entire experimental procedure. Baseline blood glucose is taken to be the value at 20 minutes from inserting the nose of the rat into the nose cone. Change in blood glucose is the difference in the measurement at the end of the 30 minute treatment period and the baseline value. Using Zongran and Guanyin acupuncture, there was a significant lowering in baseline blood glucose on days 5, 8 and 12 compared to no electroacupuncture treatment. In addition, there was a significant modulation of changing blood glucose on days 3, 5 and 12 compared to no treatment. Using Suzani acupuncture, there were no significant changes in baseline blood glucose or changing blood glucose compared to no treatment. Using Songran and Guanyin acupuncture, there was a significant decrease in baseline blood glucose over both weeks 1 and 2 compared to no treatment. Also, there was a significant lowering of change in blood glucose in week 1 compared to no treatment. Using Suzani acupuncture, there was a significant decrease in baseline blood glucose over week 1 compared to no treatment. Anesthesia using 1% halophane in a 3 to 1 mixture of nitrous oxide and oxygen provides a satisfactory and safe method of chemical restraint to enable electroacupuncture to be performed over 30 minutes and for blood samples to be collected for the measurement of blood glucose. Repeated anesthesia and electroacupuncture did not have any adverse effects on the well-being of the ZDF rats. Repeated electroacupuncture at Songran and Ganyuan acupuncture decreased the fasted baseline blood glucose from 10.25 millimoles per litre on day 1 to 7.53 millimoles per litre on day 3 and 6.75 millimoles per litre on day 12. The latter value compares with a blood glucose of 5 millimoles per litre for fasted non-diabetic ZDF rats of a similar age. Repeated electroacupuncture at Suzani acupuncture was less effective in lowering blood glucose compared to using Songran and Guanyin acupuncture. Our study has shown that repeated electroacupuncture at Songran and Guanyin acupuncture is able to decrease baseline blood glucose levels and modify the change in blood glucose that occurs over a 30 minute interval in male obese diabetic ZDF rats of mean age 12 weeks. Further studies are planned to test the effect of repeated application of electroacupuncture in these rats over three and five weeks and to test the effect of repeated treatment in male diabetic rats of different ages. Also to examine the effect of electroacupuncture on adipose tissue metabolism in these rats.